Hey, what's going on, people? Uh, this is my out-of-theater reaction for Super Mario Brothers. Uh, just saw it at uh, Cinemark, the IMAX, uh, the midnight screening for it. I had been really anticipating this movie, man. Hearing the reactions about this uh, had been pretty much nothing but good things, save for a few people that didn't like it, but I was completely blown away by how much I love this movie. This was uh, such a blast. The way they brought this world to life, honestly, for me, they could not have done it any better. The colors on the screen, uh, all the little Easter eggs in this movie, the the, the power-ups, they all touch on that. All the power-ups Mario gets, the fire, the ice, the, the, the blue one that makes him small. Yeah, all the little details, I feel like they got so on point uh, here in this movie. And uh, as far as the voice acting goes, Chris Pratt, I thought uh, the first few lines, uh, it was a little off for me, but you get past the first few lines, he was honestly really great in this movie. Anya Taylor joy was great as princess peach charlie day was awesome as luigi there was a few times where when he was talking you did hear the charlie day in his voice but it was the same way with chris pratt it, it honestly both worked for me very well story here is very generic at its core but honestly it's executed so well and the story didn't need to be some complex thing i thought it was written out well enough uh, guys familiar with the characters that we already knew and expounded on them a little bit this really just felt like the game brought to life. And man, th this whole movie, I just had a blast with it. Like, it's perfectly paced, I think. Mario Kart, the, the way they used Mario Kart in this, I thought they could have um, added a little more to the sequence, to be honest, just because I love Mario Kart so much. And that was honestly the most nostalgic moment for me, the way they utilized that, all the little Easter eggs within that. Just every, almost every shot in this movie, there's some Easter egg in it. The way they even build out uh, Mario and Luigi's uh, family life in the, and how they live in the regular world being plumbers. They really spend a, a little more time on that in the beginning than I thought they would and I really enjoyed that very well. Bowser, I mean, Jack Black as Bowser here was uh, so entertaining every time he was on the screen. He has some musical numbers in here that is uh, perfect for Jack Black and I think even the character Bowser more perfect than I would have imagined for that. And he even has uh, an aspect to his character, uh, some decisions he makes that uh, a decision he makes in this movie. Uh, that I wasn't expecting I should have been though honestly it, it, it definitely makes the story more interesting and uh, adds some interest to why he's doing what he's doing and really just overall uh, again a, a, a generic story really uh, at the center of it but it's done so well and this movie is just so fun that's all I was thinking the whole time watching this and uh, uh, full of nostalgia but all used in the best way and yeah there's a lot of fan service in this movie but sometimes I feel like it can be overused and if the story's not good enough or there isn't uh, I guess care put towards some movies that do too much fan service. It doesn't work out, but I thought it was, you could tell there was people that loved Mario that was involved with this movie. And I just had a blast, honestly. I know it's my first time watching this. I definitely want to go back and see it again. I just, I really just was so entertained by this just for the, the, the action within this is so punchy at times and it's not too intense. So it's like good for kids, but also for adults, like it's in your face a bit. So there is a little bit of intensity on the surface, but it never goes like too dark with it. But they had a blast with this movie. Uh, uh, this is just my reaction. So there might be some negatives that come out when I do my full review and have more time to think about this and maybe even potentially see it again. I just really had such a great time with this movie. This is definitely a movie you want to see in a crowd with a bunch of people that enjoy it. There was a pretty good amount of people in the crowd I was in uh, tonight to see this movie. Um, so it was just, I just had a great time with this, man. It seemed like everyone else was. Uh, it was cool to see the, the people dressed up as Mario and Luigi and whatnot. That was, it's always fun to see. Uh, I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments if you're seeing this, wherever you're seeing this right now. This is my out of theater reaction for Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, I had a blast with it. I really loved it. Uh, it might be my favorite movie of the year, honestly. I, I love John Wick 4, though, so it's tough. Um, I'll have to really think about it uh, again because I had a blast with that movie too. But sure, some of the humor in this movie it does have that illumination effect to it. So I'm sure there are some elements on rewatch that I'm not going to enjoy as much in terms of the humor. It's honestly no immediate complaints coming out of it right now. Full on recommendation. If you were even considering going to see this at all, I would definitely go see this opening weekend. It's just fun. A fun hour and a half, a fun movie. You don't have to think too much about it. And if you love Mario, it's just going to be full of nostalgia and, and, and gobbly goo goodiness. So, uh, yeah, definitely go out and see this movie for full recommendation from me. Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, awesome.